when you walk your whole body mass pivots around your leg uh, giving you centripetal acceleration so you should actually weigh less by an amount equal to m v squared over r let's check this out in physics class now go ahead and put your right foot on the scale only and be balanced and get your whole body up okay so now, now back off now come back here and walk so that that one foot crosses the scale okay come back and do it again you're a really nice walker. Thank you. Actually, yeah. that doesn't work, huh? Okay, now, let's get another walker. Skylar volunteered. Here comes Skylar the walker. Okay. Okay, now the first thing you got to do is balance with the one foot on the scale. Got it? Okay, now come on back. Now walk the same way that Nathan walked. Only your right foot crosses the scale. Now come on back and let's do it again. Okay. Okay, that's good. One more walker. We'll have three. Any another another volunteer walker? Volunteer walker. Hello, volunteer walker. Aaron is walker. Sorry, Aaron. Which do it, Damien? Walk. Well, no, first of all, we got to get that baseline here. you got to balance. Okay. Well, wait, but actually, turn sideways. No, let's do it. No, this way. No, this way. Okay. Okay, only the right foot on the scale. Everything else off the ground, though. Because we're trying to get you total. If I fall, I'm suing. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now come on back this way and walk briskly. Okay. Briskly, but and with the right foot hitting the scale as you cross it. Come on back and do it again. He said hitting us the left foot this time. What you need is like to have a scale level with the floor so you're not taking a step up. Yeah, yeah, I know. I felt like I was kicking. Okay. All right, that's three. And you can stop now. All three walkers were lighter when they walked than when they stood still.